hope you all are safe in your home today we will discuss the management of nematode so before uh, discuss the management of nematode <coughs> we have to know about the two terms that will uh, that are very useful during this uh, particular topic that is uh, nematode management everyone ask you to uh, differentiate or uh, in difference between control practices and management practices just a minute screen is share with you or not okay fine now it is live so before starting this topic we have to know about the uh, the differentiate between the two terms that is management and control many times uh, control and management so uh, when we uh, talk about the control then uh, uh, in a very easy language we say we can say that a total eradication okay total eradication of the pest population that is uh, under the control practices okay and uh, if, if we are talking about the management practices so management practices means we can manage the nematode population or the pest population below the economic threshold level etl level okay so now uh, in case of nematode management we have to go for nematode uh, nematode management in field condition okay but if you are talking about the uh, nematode man, nematode control practices so you can control the nematode yes in the control condition or uh, in a in a control form on a control case like in uh, in pot house uh, you can manage the nematode in uh nursery bed area in the control condition means small area you can man you, you can control the nematode you can eradicate the nematode population but cost is will be a, will be a very high so now we, we will discuss uh, uh, the five components in nematode management practice first one is regulatory or legal methods thereafter physical method and then cultural methods thereafter biology after chemical methods so today we will discuss the uh, the above uh, three important uh, uh, methods like regulatory and uh, physical and cult cultural methods so regulatory methods nowadays uh, we all are in quarantine in home quarantine you already heard this uh, uh, this term that is quarantine yes in regulatory methods we are also using the quarantine methods jaise ki abhi hum log sabhi log ghar mein quarantine hue सेम दिस थिंग्स मीन्स जिन्हें बहुत से जो कोविड 19 के पेशेंट हैं उन्हें गवर्नमेंट ने क्वारंटाइन होम और क्वारंटाइन गेस्ट हाउसेज में रखा हुआ है सिमिलरली एनी कंटामिनेटेड एरिया यू कैन और वी कैन सी दैट दी हॉट स्पॉट यू जस्ट क्वारंटाइन दिस पर्टिकुलर एरिया सो दैट वॉट एवर दी दी बेस्ट पॉपुलेशन कैन नॉट can not infect the other area or other healthy area so this is uh, called as the quarantine practice and in india it is uh, started in 1914 by the act of destructive insect pest act and it is uh, passed uh, by the government of india in 1914 many time this question is asking in your objective examinations uh, or examination in your objective papers there after we are talking about the uh, in the uh, the quarantine yes it is a two types means a legal enforcement to check the entry or ch check the or restrict the introduction of exotic pest or disease in the country or in abroad or into the state also it is also divided into two types means foreign quarantine and domestic quarantine foreign quarantine means whatever the any uh, introduction of exotic pest or diseases into the our country or in domestic quarantine we uh, you just uh, restrict or regulate uh, uh, the um, the uh, the dispersion of the particular uh, disease or pest into the country means from one state to an another state 
and there is a certain example like globodera rostokiensis and uh, radina flancus coccophyllus is under the foreign quarantine and uh, in uh, domestic quarantine uh, there is a uh, one example that is globodera rost uh, this uh, first time reported by uh, in jones in 1961 then uh, he first time observed that the potatosis nematode that is globodera uh, rostokiensis and uh, globodera pallida was uh, very alarming in nilgiri hill and kodai canal hills of tamil nadu thereafter this uh, uh, this domestic quarantine act is against this particular nematodes so that we cannot use or we cannot uh, uh, bring the potato for seed as well as the table purpose from this particular place thereafter the second uh, method so how to control the uh, the nematode by the physical method yes again the physical methods are very useful and very effective for control condition not for field condition if you are using uh, the physical method uh, to uh, to control the nematode or to manage the nematode in control condition you can easily uh, easily uh, go with the physical method but if you are using physical method for a large area or for the field condition so it will be very difficult and it will it is it is not feasible and it is very costly so that we are not uh, uh, advised to the farmers with the go for the physical methods and now one by one we can use uh, we can uh, discuss the particular physical methods in physical methods uh, we are using heat irradiation and osmotic pressure to manage the nematode population so first heat treatment of this in pot condition or in a small area you can use the heat treatment for soil and uh, our laboratory laboratory you can use this particular uh, method uh, but if you are uh, going with the uh, in field condition you can use this you cannot use this particular method there after hot water treatment and uh, this will be uh, again uh, it will be useful and uh, you can use this method against the banana corn onion bulbs tuber seeds and roots of uh, seedlings uh, can be dipped into the hot water Uh, at 50 to 55 degrees celsius for 10 minutes but again it is very uh, dangerous if you are uh, uh, if uh, you advise to the farmers then you, know, you kept in uh, one thing you kept into your mind that the time is very important 10 minute and the temperature is also very important if campro uh, temperature will go up up to 55 degrees celsius man maybe uh, your seed will be damaged there after the irradiation to irradiation also kill the just in the matter like globodera rostokiensis expose 20000 gamma containing uh, contained all uh, only uh, dead, uh, dead eggs and uh, 40000 uh, gamma radiation uh, expose the eggs lost their contents means uh, you can use the radiations for managing nematode but it will be uh, not feasible for uh, farmers or in uh, uh, for us but uh, it will be useful for the port area or whatever the the foreign ten, uh, foreign quarantine is there they can use this methods because it is very uh, uh, very costly and we cannot uh, use this method osmotic pressure yes fader in 1960 first time used this method for um, management of uh, the nematodes by the osmotic pressure and he got 100% mortality of nematode by the using sucrose and dextrose 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 uh, into the infected soil at the rate of 1 to 5% by weight the next method that is washing process full for the adhering the uh, means removing the adhering soil on the tubers bulbs planting materials but it is only useful for the ectoparasitic nematodes it is not useful for the semi endo and endoparasitic nematodes the next method that is seed cleaning yes we can use this method but nowadays farmers are using certified seeds so they are not using this seed cleaning method but uh, in past it will be very useful method for 
the seed cleaning method for uh, management of anguinoiditis a disease means seed borne disease that is uh, the anguinoiditis thereafter the ultrasonic the ultrasonic having a little effect of atrodarized species but it is uh, not practicable in a feasible condition so this is about the physical methods now we are talking about the in cultural methods just a minute uh, without using any chemical practices, any chemical methods, you can manage, give the importance of particular cultural methods so that they can into their seed material. Very helpful. Think the time of planting. Yes, it is very effective method. I have also taken one experiment and four year trial I have completed and I got very good result in tomato. If you are, if you are change the time of planting period if you are change the time of sowing period because nematode population increasing depending on the temperature so temperature is very important so if you are take uh, your crop early or late then nematode population will influence so it will be also very helpful for managing nematode population following yes leaving the field without cultivation preferably after blowing help to expose the nematode to sunlight and the nematode died due to the starvation without host plant this method is not economical but we can suggest farmers those having a large land area or large field area thereafter the second thing this method is using but we just suggest the farmers go for two or three deep summer plowing during may or june uh, so that uh, the nematode population will go down but we can population will increase then addition of more amount of farm yard manure oil cakes neems castor press mud poultry manure etc for enrich the soil and further increase the uh, development of predaceous nematode like mononcus and other nematode antagonistic microbes in which uh, in the soil which check the nematode uh, nematode population or nematode management by in the soil thereafter the next uh, method that we create the uh, the the anaerobic condition into this soil and uh, during this anaerobic condition the chemicals uh, by the decomposition of the the whatever the uh, organic matter into the soil they uh, uh, they produce some chemicals lethal chemicals like hydrogen sulfide and ammonia and that uh, due to this uh, nematode population will goes down thereafter trap cropping cropping is traceable uh, you can also suggest to the farmers uh, go for the trap crop during any, any trap crop is means trap crop is a susceptible crop and one question is also asking by examiner like differentiate trap crop and antagonistic crop so in the case of nematode we are using cowpea for the for a uh, huge as a trap crop because it is a very susceptible crop and we are using against the root knot nematode you just first sow the uh, sowing the uh, cowpea thereafter 15 days after 15 to 18 days before completing the life cycle of root knot nematode you just pull out and then uh, and then destroy the particular crop by this method you can manage the single plant should be left in field yes other population will increase not a single plant sir is with all me all all the plants should be removed removed or, removed or no, destroy destroy, uh, destroy. so that we can manage the nematode okay. yes if you are living for more than 18 or 20 days the population will increase mm. because the nematode will complete their life cycle if it is a summer season the root knot nematode complete their life cycle within 18 to 25 days so that during this season you have to keep in your mind set so that uh, you should remove your crop uh, within within 15 days thereafter the next uh, method that is antagonistic crop. Yeah, certain crop like mustard, marigolds, uh, 
they are using as antagonistic crop like in marigold it is also known as tagetes and it's release some alpha uh, alpha tertinyl and bitertinyl compounds and they are uh, act as a uh, antagonistic and isothiocyanate and uh, this will be uh, this will be uh, act as a chemical and it is uh, also uh, hazardous or kill or devour the nematodes so we can use the marigold and mustard as antagonistic crop many times uh, students are also uh, asking me to that ki sir neem is also a crop or antagonistic crop yes neem is a, having the property of antagonistic against the nematode but we are using as a antagonistic plant we cannot say that it is a antagonistic crop there after the next uh, yes in this method we have to clean our uh, after the uh, harvesting of the crop we have to uh, clean our particular uh, field uh, and uh, remove the all debris of the previous crop so that like in uh, detailancus angustus or uh, uh, in the paddy crop you have to remove all uh, the debris of the previous crop so that you can manage the nematode right and yes it is also very useful method but the uh, we have very few resistant variety nowadays and it will be first thing it will be a marketable expect, acceptable or not this is also very important if the resistant variety are market acceptable then you can go for this variety otherwise we cannot go with this varieties the list of variety already given in your uh, particular study material So you should go for that one more method which is soil solarization grown lldp linear low density polythene and we are using clear polythene not uh, confuse that uh, in horticulturist are using black polythene they are also using they are for many nematodes and soil born using thing and uh, in summer season we have to use this method first we go for light irrigation thereafter we uh, cover this air tight by this particular polythene mulch and wait for 15 to 1 month 15 days to 1 month and thereafter uh, you can uh, get the sterilized soil into your soil and this method is also very helpful uh, this uh, particular our whatsapp group and also you can put it uh, on my particular uh, this channel so thank you very much